broadcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, a show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Hello, Warriors. Are you looking backward for the right reason? Do you need help, like my coaching services, to live fully in the present moment? Are you looking to overcome your fears and limiting beliefs as you enter the new year? If so, you can check out a free resource I have to help you. The link is in the show notes. Now let's start this week's episode. Episode 128. It's helpful to look back and see what you've learned last year. As a life coach, I frequently ask my clients what they have learned from an experience. And the only answer I find as incorrect is one they say they didn't learn and start blaming others or making excuses. Every experience you have in your life teaches you something which you are to learn. Part of the awakening of consciousness is the ability to recognize the lessons you have learned from the encounters you've had. The ability to learn from what is happening in your life is a fascinating and transformational, and it's supposed to happen. That's why you've had the experience. So as you reflect on the past year, what lessons have you learned about yourself, your goals, your cherished connections, your accomplishments, your missteps? You might journal about the knowledge you gain to add more depth, richness, and creativity to the authentic person you are creating. Some lessons you gain are profound and transform your life, but the majority are minor and simple to miss. There's always something new to learn, which is one of life's greatest pleasures. There's rarely in an impossible or unfixable situation since there's always something new to learn. Change and learning go frequently go hand in hand. Your life changes because of fresh information, shifting perspectives, and new technological advances. People are peculiar in that they paradoxically reject change while still wanting it to happen. You grow accustomed to the current state of affairs and resist change. Planned versus unexpected lessons. Change typically takes place in one of these two ways, albeit this is not binary, either or idea. Controlled change occurs when you decide to change things like your career, diet, relationships. Natural disasters, a partner leaving, being laid off from a job, Being unable to exercise because of illness and other uncontrollable events are examples of unexpected change. Most people want to change something in their lives, some enormous, some little, some subdued, some drastic. Usually, you need to learn something new to change, whether it's a lesson or gaining information. Examples of this include learning new food habits, professional abilities, fitness regimens, etc., Change can be frightening, and learning life lessons is a necessary component of progress. You and I now have access to a wealth of fresh concepts, and those who fear change fight it. This helps to understand science doubters in part because learning is at the heart of science, and learning results in change. The choice is crucial in this situation. You gain more information and experience when you decide to change. You still learn something when you oppose it, but it might not be the lesson you expect. Knowledge is powerful. You have many more tools at your disposal the more you know. I have a lot of knowledge, yet the majority, if not all, is open to reinterpretation. What I know today probably won't be the same as what I know tomorrow, because there are always new things to learn as you stretch yourself. Learning includes realizing that knowledge is constantly developing. Recognizing this allows you to decide to learn new information and therefore control change. The phrase, I know, frequently makes you resist change, especially when you accept them as fact without giving them a careful analysis because they come from outside forces. Even when you gain knowledge and experience, you may still learn new things and develop as long as you keep an open mind. Knowing there is much more you don't know is wisdom. But with self-actualization, 
Saying I know with total confidence can be empowering. For example, I know I'm amazing. I know I'm the one who consciously creates my world. I know I'm worthy just as I am. I know I'm lovable and so on. This is self-awareness, not vanity. Saying I know in this situation requires defining oneself positively and productively. What did you learn? I've received a range of responses to this question from various people. Realizing the value of their health, choosing to work less and enjoy life more, recognizing the value of balance, and even admitting they had no new insights were among them. No one wants to believe they've wasted 365 days by not learning even one valuable life lesson in the past year. Here are 35 questions to ask yourself to help you evaluate the lessons you've learned in the past year. Number one, what do you now feel most passionate about? Number two, what have been the highlights of the last year? Number three, how have your life objectives changed? Number four, who in the world do you most admire? Number five, what do you no longer enjoy doing? Number six, how did you pivot because of a lesson learned? Number seven, what fundamental ideas about leading a successful life do you now hold? Number eight, have you recently had any epiphanies regarding living a fulfilling life? Number nine, what's the biggest regret of the past year and how has it changed you? Number 10, how have your attempts to bring happiness to yourself developed and changed? Number 11, what's your biggest weakness? Number 12, have you had to set a personal boundary as a part of self-care? Number 13, what methods did you discover to ground yourself this year? Number 14. What small or seemingly trivial aspect of your life has a large positive impact on your happiness? Number 15. Have you recently done something for the first time and what did it teach you? Number 16. What comes to mind when you consider a loss you had this year? Number 17. Did your cherished connections teach you anything? Number 18. What is the finest present you received this year and why? Number 19. Do you have any new rituals or habits that were beneficial? Number 20. How did you improve your productivity? Number 21. What bad habit or trait have you overcome? Number 22. Which of your travel experiences taught you something? Number 23, what is the most stunning location you visited this last year? Number 24, what suggestions would you provide to help folks make the most of their time? Number 25, have your opinions on anything important altered this year? Number 26, what has your trusted tribe taught you? Number 27, Describe the book that had a significant influence on your growth this year. Number 28. What aspects of your work gives you the most satisfaction? Number 29. What connection is there between wealth and personal contentment in your life? Number 30. What opportunities are you now looking for? Number 31. How has your self-confidence grown? Number 32. Did you trust your instincts and what was the outcome? Number 33, what qualities do you want to bloom this new year? Number 34, what did you run away from? Number 35, do you need to alter your goals and aim higher for the coming year? My lessons from the last year. In reviewing the past year, here are the four lessons I've learned that I wanted to share with you. Number one, slow down to reflect regularly. Aim to slow down in this age of acceleration and speed. When you live slowly, you start to take care of your body, mind, and soul so that they can take care of you. You also become more conscious and intentional about how you live your life. 
the seeds of self-acceptance and self-awareness become self-love. Because you can't make room to see inside yourself any other way. Isolation is the only way to achieve all of that. Number two, I learned to befriend fear. Fear is there to show you that you're interested in caring, not to stop you. Befriend your fear instead of fighting it because when you do something frightening for the first time, it becomes less fearful and you become more courageous. You will live a life free from fear and regret if you keep an open mind, behave creatively, think scientifically, make mistakes, and learn from them. Number three, stay open-minded. Keep an open mind, ask questions about everything, and make requests for what you desire. When you live with such a mentality, you understand that doors always open after some close. The ability to think clearly changes the game. You create it by deliberately concentrating on those things that you have control over and disregarding the things that you don't. Number four, I learned to be grateful for my authentic connections. The people you share your life with are what makes life meaningful. Make time for the people you love and surround yourself with positive individuals who inspire you. You will notice more beauty around you, perceive life as being more generous, and feel better if you are more appreciative of those around you. Since the quality of your thoughts directly affects the reality you experience, life is what you make of it. Taking the lessons learned while moving forward. One more thing about discovering life lessons. If you can't understand what life attempted to teach you today, don't worry. It's okay if the answer to the questions don't lead to a revelation that will change the way you live every day. However, asking them frequently can ensure that you don't miss a message when it comes. And it will come if you're open to hearing the whispers of your heart. In a split second, your entire life can change. Be thankful for what you have and use it to your advantage rather than passively take it for granted. You can't think your way into a new life this year. You have to take bold action to do so because action produces more clarity of vision than just thinking about it. It's possible to create a meaningful life you enjoy. You are a constant student of life. Your only goal is to continue learning, growing, and broadening your mind. Reflect on the lessons learned and apply them as you move forward in the new year. Do you need help to look back over the past year and see what you've learned? Are you looking for support in consciously choosing how to move forward? Do you want a strategy to help you create an extraordinary life? If so, please get in touch with me and we can put together an action plan for you to continue to learn in the new year. To discover how I applied the lessons I've learned in my life, you can do so by reading my book, Raven Transcending Fear, available on Amazon. Or you can go to raventranscendingfear.com for more information. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs.